Hello, and this is kind of a last minute thing because the thing I wanted to do, I've kind of run out of time, so I'll do that at some point for next. It's fine. So, we're going to review something a little bit small but needs to be reviewed Transformers Legacy Iguanus. Now, let me explain to my able bodied assistant. Hello. Hello. Okay. This is a new version of something that was called a Pretender. Okay. The Pretenders were. Uh, like a shell that looked like a monster or a human in a suit of armour or whatever. And then you split it open and there was a transformer inside a small one that fit inside it. Now originally, Iguanus was like a lizzy monster that looks like that. And inside there was a little robot that just about turned into a motorbike. It didn't look very good. So what they've done now is they've gone, yeah, we'll, we'll just make the, the robot itself look kind of lizardy. And then just have that turn to a motorbike and just cut out the whole shell that pretends. So it's not a pretender anymore. Does that make sense to you? Hmm. Okay. But you get what you're given. And he, from what I can gather and all the images I've seen, looks exactly like his pretender shell. You know, weird lizardy thing, the little skull belt, all the details and the claws. and looks exactly like the shell, except for these things. Or were they... No, I think these were on him as well because they're part of the thing. It's fine. I think they were there as well. And he looks alright. I mean, maybe the teeth could be picked out and a few bits and pieces, but the scales and all the rest of the details are lovely. And yes, I know there are infinite upgrade kits that fill in the legs and do this and do that. Really? Really? For a fella this size? Uh, he comes with a weapon, which I hate. It's this thing. Uh, what does that look like to you? Like two blades stuck on each end of a gun. Right. The thing is, he's got to hold it by this little peg here. Hmm. So he either holds it that way. Or you can turn it around if you want. And it looks like that. But I think that way is longer, so it's probably that way. Hmm. Does that look stupid to you? Kind of. Well, fortunately, I've used some of the PayPal money I've got, and I've ordered the uh, replacement upgrade kit weapons. That's all of it. I haven't filled, got the fillers or anything like that, but replacement guns, so I don't need this thing anymore. Uh, but you can store it. It'll go into a hole there, or I suppose you could use this little peg in any of those holes, but we'll, we'll just do the, the big one and try and get it out of the way. Okay, And it looks like that. And for a size comparison, here is Kingdom Vertebrake, because they're both legendy, scouty, whatever it is called, size. Core class. Is it core class now? It is. So this one is way stockier than this one. Uh, this one's transformation, is it more intricate? No, they're about the same. But this is way skinnier, and this is way bigger. So considering they're roughly the same size, it's uh, there's, there's a significant difference. So I suppose we should transform it. And the transformation is not the most difficult thing in the world, but it is a bit fiddly. Uh, you can leave this on, but for the sake of it, we'll throw that away. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this. And then we're going to get this section and rotate it all the way. And you think it's going to stop there, but it doesn't. You actually need to notch it past to there. Then close this down over the head. At which point we can turn the... Well, you could have done this before if you really wanted, but we'll turn the waist around. Oh, that's a bit stiff. Okay. And now we need to get these wheels. And these will only work one way. You can't mix them up. They only work one way. So we can get this wheel. And it's on like a ball joint. And rotate it down. Rotate this one out. And this one will turn that way. There we go. Again, it's on a ball joint. It'll only go one way. Get to about there. Those done. What do you think? Oh, all right, fine. Um, <clears throat> so this is a bit funky. You've got that big hole there, which you can use for weapon ports and all the rest of it. Same as the back of the leg. There are things on it, but who cares? You can That big hole there, and that little one underneath it. And they go onto that big peg there. And that little one there. 
So how you do that is you use this tab, goes into the tail. So you've got to rotate this around, bend it, and line that up on the tail. There you go. Turn this around on the ball joint, turn it flat, and it should line up perfectly to tab on there. Okay. So we'll do it this way, and we'll rotate that around. We'll turn the flat uh, sideways first, because now this is pegged in on one side, it might not move as easily to give us the clearance. So we're going to move that around, get it into place, and straight on. No messing around. Easy. Oh, I haven't tabbed that in yet. There you go. So that's the back end done. First end, even easier. You get the arms, rotate them all the way like that. Turn so the hands are thing. So instead of being that, he's now like that. Yeah, that's the arm. So you sit all the way. And this circle will go into the hand. And if you notice, where the, little, the end of the little finger and the palm starts, there's a little gap. That's where this little notch goes. And you think, okay, well, we'll line that. Oh, it doesn't want to go. There's this little notchy, tabby, whatever it is there. It actually goes into this hole in here as well. So if you push it so far, into place. And then that will line up with the hand. And on. So it's a little bit weird, but it does all line up. So rotate that hand. Tab that in, bring that around, get it all locked into place. Okay, then we turn it upside down, and that's his motorbike mode. Um, uh, hmm. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but I, I guess it works. What do you think of that? Silly. Excellent answer. I do like that. Well done. I mean, it's got a nice big Decepticon symbol and the sort of pseudo windscreeny bit. And, you know, it's got some spikes on the top there so it can smash into things that's riding past. And just, it, yeah, it's, it's really silly. It gets sillier because you can store this in the same spot. Like that. And there's laughter coming from the room. Okay. Ugh. Again, if you want, you can use the little peg and like put it in one of the hands or something. And it's, then you can't drive because it's lower than the wheel. It's, it's, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, so it, it is what it is. Uh, size comparison, because I don't want to transform versus brake. There's Drac Dracodon, because they're the exact same figure, but in different colours. So, <clears throat> again, there's a lot more to Iguanus. Um, but, I mean, that's what we get left with. Don't be wrong, it's better than the original. Uh, if I had the effort, I'd get a picture and put it up here somewhere. Okay, so I didn't do that, otherwise it would have popped up. Um, stand. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah, bless him. However, if you have got something like Versabreak, wow, just pop the, the shoulder off, that's weird. You can, you know, bend up the legs on the rest of it, get this like a chain or something, and make it look like they're riding. Yeah, who said it was just for uh, Rekgar and Junk Heap? Yeah, you can, you can do it with the bad guys as well, yeah. Woo! It's silly. It's very, very silly. And um, that's kind of what I like about it, really. And again, when I get rid of this, uh, the guns, I, they're supposed to be able to tap in here somewhere. I don't know how. They can go into the hands. I don't know exactly how it works, but when I get them, I'll review them and you'll see. Which is kind of why I wanted this reviewed anyway. But, yeah, I mean... They've got this guy who's called Class. They've got Skullgrin, which they've released, uh, released or well, is coming out very soon, as a deluxe. I don't know why. 
And then they've just shown Bomb Burst, which appears to be another core class. So what are they doing with the Pretenders? There's there's no consistency to it, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, and I don't think anyone's happy about it. But hey-ho, uh, it is what it is, and uh, I'll get rid of that thing, because it's awful. Uh, but for argument's sake, if anyone wants to see me do the filler kit, just, just putting it out there, uh, feel free to donate to paypal.me slash uglywretch, or become a patron, and I'll get some money and I'll order the filler kit and... It's worth asking, right? So, stand, stand, come on, play the game. Stand, why, why? Stood before. There it is. But that's enough of that for now. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>